It's finished. Check it out, guys. Welcome to another episode of Gallery Garage. Today is a big day because now the fire truck is finished. Remember guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends because I'm gonna keep building cool stuff just like this truck. All right, so I'm gonna show you everything that I did to this truck starting off. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I did it. We're gonna go look at the water. <laughs> look at these wheels. All right. I'm gonna show you the first thing custom to this fire truck. These are super singles, brand new meaty tires. I got these Prius Preventer lug nut caps, freshly powder coated, super single wheels. Don't they look nice? All right, next thing that we did, you guys saw in the video, I got the 100 gallon fuel tank. I got it painted, I did the 415. Everything from here back, that is black, is all 415. Got the step on here, got the toolboxes on, the rear wheels are the same old meaty tires, but more Prius preventers. Nice shiny chrome. I could brush my teeth in that because it's so shiny. Pretty much everything, like I said, from here back, I did myself. I got the air tanks. I got the, uh, the hoist in. The bed works great. And inside here is the electric hydraulic pump. This is the toolbox that I keep all the straps in. I got the straps, tow hooks, everything. When your Prius breaks down, I get to tow you. All right, here is the custom headache rack I did. There was another video, so you should check that one out. Here is a 9,500 pound Ramsey hydraulic winch. It, it, it pulls a lot more than 9,500 pounds, trust me. Uh, very strong, headache rack, looks good. You slide on down. I got all my chains so I can pull stuff. And this is my daughter's fire truck. I'm gonna make another video on this truck. I'm gonna do a special shout out to my biggest fan, Bonnie. What's up, Bonnie? This video is for you, my biggest fan. Love you. Okay, that's not a staircase. It's a fire truck. It's got a ladder. See, one step, two step. This side, nice and shiny, nice and clean. A little dirt on the wheels. It happens. We went muddy. Uh, I just got some toolboxes. This, this toolbox is going to be empty all the time. This toolbox, I'm going to, I'm starting to convert into a hose reel toolbox. It's going to have all my tools in it, air ratchets and everything because this has air tanks on it. So I'm going to be able to change tires and fill up tires with the onboard air already. So that's a future video. So I didn't film this one, but the rear axle had really high gears in it. It was like a 527 gear ratio. It was ridiculous. And it's a one-to-one -one out of the rear of the, tr the automatic transmission. So I actually had to change the gears in this. I put 410 gears in it. Thing cruises on the highway. I could hit 65 miles an hour, no problem cruising. And it's, it's it cruises nice and smooth. But it took me like a week to do by myself. I was quoted like over two grand for a shop to do it. Found the parts for 450 bucks online. And the pinion gear is like this big and it weighs like 500 pounds. Maybe not 500, but it's pretty heavy. So I swapped that out. So now she cruises. So what's nice about this dump hoist is this bed actually dumps as well. It's a dump hoist for a dump truck. As you can see, it's tilted down so I can winch up cars from the ground. But if I pull the bed back up a little bit, it'll go up to 65 degrees. And now I have a dump truck. It's also a tow truck and I could tow trailers with it too does a little bit of everything. All this stuff, it's all up in here. I don't know how I did it. And I, and I didn't put anything on paper either. I just kind of built it with, with my brain. It works sometimes. These are the three air tanks. I got my primary, my front and rear. Uh, they're about six and a half gallons each. This is the hydraulic pump that tilts the cab. It's electric, so hopefully my battery never dies when I'm in an emergency. But this thing tilts the cab up and I can service the oil and everything. This is all custom. I custom 
custom made these brackets, got hung the tanks, I painted them with the Pour 15, and it looks really good. Hey guys, you mind if I take a picture? Oh yeah, absolutely, go for it. <laughs> I got a YouTube channel, so we're uh, yeah. shooting, I just finished the truck, so we're... Uh, thank you. We got fans. This is a 12 volt air conditioner. It runs off the battery. It doesn't need its uh, compressor to run off the engine. Don't buy it though. <laughs> I installed it, and for this truck, it is just, it, it'll probably work for a smaller vehicle. But uh, yeah, it works. It pumps out with some cold air, but it's not enough to keep the cab cool. Uh, I got it from Alibaba. It came from China, and uh, if you want it, I'll sell it to you because I'm going to upgrade. But it's got air conditioning. It's pretty cool. Welcome. So in the back seat here, I put a futon. And the best part is I got seat belts as well. So I could bring my daughter along. As you can see, I got a car seat in here. She loves riding in this truck. But when I'm taking a long trip and I don't have the camper behind me, I, uh, I could just take this futon, fold it out, take a snooze, have the air conditioner. That's the only time that it actually works is when you're laying on the, on the bed back here and you're running off the battery. It blows nice cool air on you. But when you're driving, you don't feel it. And uh, that's really all I did back here on the inside. The interior needs a lot of work, so that's going to be future videos. Not much else happened. I'll show you the passenger seat, and that's really it. You want me to go to the other side? Oh, it's not sticky anymore. So for now, I just took the old bumper, and I shortened it, and I bolted it on. And I almost destroyed the entire truck, because what happened was I was tilting the cab up, and you can see here it's a little crushed the cab hit the bumper and I started hearing cracks, crack sounds and bangs and stuff like that. It's a good thing it didn't hurt the, the truck itself too much. It bent the bumper, but I'm rebuilding the bumper. So that's okay. That's another future video. I'm gonna have more videos of this truck. Remember guys, don't be a sh Subscribe. This thing spits out Prius repellent like you wouldn't believe. Six inches of <laughs> <laughs> of, of what? <laughs> Prius repellent. <laughs> <laughs> now that's something you want to have a caution triangle for. So the passenger seat was obviously like a fire truck officer seat. It had like the tank in it. This is a 96 Jeep Cherokee passenger seat. It bolted right in. I don't even know how it happened. I took it, I made a little bracket, and it bolted to the original like glove box thingy. So now I got an actual comfortable passenger seat. Other than that, interior is still the same. I started uh, insulating it a little bit, but we'll work on the insulation more. <laughs> when well, we're trying to make a video, and this guy's over here rolling coal, like, He's probably got the same diesel motor in his boat. You think he's got a diesel? Diesel. Di diesel. Yeah, he's rolling cold, so he's got a diesel. He's got a diesel. You want to race guy? I'm trying to go? Honk your horn. I, I think he's got you beat because uh, that floats. That's on the boat. <laughs> if you guys are curious how this truck was built, check out all my other videos. I have from point A to Z and I actually turned the old fire truck tank into a hot tub so you guys should check that video out. So if you guys haven't seen this channel before I did all the fabrication from pretty much the cab back. We stretched the frame, we extended it another four feet, I built the hitch, every single bracket, I pretty much redid everything all from scratch. It was a fun project. The truck now weighs 17,500 pounds as it sits now and it originally weighed over 20,000 pounds so this thing boogies. She drives really good now. The truck can tow almost 20,000 pounds. It can have about 8,000 pounds on the bed. I don't know, it could probably handle more, but I really don't want to go more than that. The gross vehicle weight rating is 38,500 pounds. So this thing's a beast. It's a good daily driver. It runs good. It's only got 30,000 miles on it. And empty i get 15 miles to the gallon another thing that i did i don't know if you guys can see how shiny it is i took it almost took me like two days to buff this thing out it's not even that good yet i scratched it a little bit don't look at that but uh got all the lettering off and it looks really good now it's pretty shiny you can almost see 
my reflection in here. Made it look really good. It was like a very faded, chalky, orange looking color until I buffed it out. And the paint looks really nice now. I am gonna get it professionally detailed, so that way the paint looks a lot better. I got some stickers on here. So now I'm gonna show you guys how it operates. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but it was a time lapse. So the reason why I did time lapse is I did the electric pump. It was to save money for now, and it's very slow. It works. Everything works. I've towed cars with it already just to test it out. See that? It's got air ride suspension. Eventually, I'm going to put airbags in the front too, so the whole truck just slams down. Oh, it looks so good. Look at those lights. So good. So I got all the lights lit up. Everything looks good. This is my trailer plug so this is the meaty hitch bumper hitch that i built check out that video and these are my two backup cameras i'll show you that inside i got two views i could actually see behind the truck and this one actually looks at the hitch so i could back up right to a hitch i dump the airbags hook the trailer and then fill the airbags back up and then the trailer is lined up perfectly all the suspension parts are all brand new i got brand new airbags brand new shocks i got the dump valve the dump valve is actually original all the hoses are brand new for all the air tanks so as you guys know i put the fifth wheel gooseneck hitch in it's that bmw weld-in hitch i still have to cut the hole in the bit so that's another future video that's actually going to be very soon because we're gonna have to tow the fifth wheel trailer. That's also in another video. Just go check out every video on the channel. Why not? It's all good videos. How not much do you cost? What? What, not do for what do you mean you're not for hire? It's, it says four hire right there. Oh, $2. Ooh. Maybe three. Let me get my debit card out. <laughs> do you take Venmo? <laughs> I think, I think diesel dollars. So he's over there. Hold on. Let me see if I can get a shot of the truck. I don't know if you can see it. He's over there. He's making me work. Can I go get a shot of the truck. You see, you see what we're doing for you? Birds over here. It's nature. Am I a boat owner? I parked in the in the boat owner parking spots. I just want to point out that you built this whole truck without writing anything down, right? Yeah. You wrote down what to do in the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, when, when you're making a video, it's not the same as fabrication. I can't keep the video fabricated in my brain, so I got to fabricate a piece of paper with some words on it, so in this video is Your Prius prevent. Yeah, Prius. Get out of my way. I will get the out of the way. Go, Grandma. Go. Thank you. <laughs> you guys want to know something? The really cool part about this fire truck is I could park it wherever I want. 
Reserved for me. Reserved for me. Reserved for me. Reserved for me. Just so happens to take up four parking spots. Let me know what you think of the build and tell me if there's anything that I should do to this truck. All right, guys, well, that's the end of this video. I really hope you like the build. Finally, finally the end of this video. It's finally. <laughs> It's been a long, it's been a long journey. We started the videos nine months ago of this truck and it took about six months to build. But we're finally at the end of the video. Make sure you watch the next episode. Grandma's car is finally getting destroyed. We do some crazy demolition. What do you mean we destroyed it? That's grandma's car. Grandma destroyed her car. Grandma, grandma did it. She really needs glasses. What happened to this thing? Grandma hit a shopping cart. She, she does not know how to drive very well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Say goodbye. To who? To our fans and followers and friends. And our family. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Who's going to turn the camera on? <laughs> now there's no one behind the camera. <laughs> In the wild, you can see the wild Budemeyer with its brain spinning in circles. It's working. I made a fire truck into a hot tub. <laughs> Drop this in. Boom. I got a goose neck.